Fish pie normally doesn't look like that. It's cute though, and this design somewhat resembles the fish painted onto the shield. Both of these objects designed with a round, goofy fish allude to a connection with fishermen. Thanks to the directions given to me by a traveling merchant, I headed down to a coastal village known for its fishing. Take a look around and you'll see images of fish everywhere. It's printed on mesh rugs, tapestries, boxes, and of course the shields, but for what reason? Is there some significance to the local fish caught here? They're called porgies, but it turns out they're also called sea bream in different parts of the world. I then learned that one popular type of sea bream is the red sea bream, which is called tai in Japanese. It's here that we find the inspiration for the pie's design, taiyaki. Just like in the game, you can find Red Sea Bream imagery in much of traditional Japanese culture. You might find them at weddings, during New Year's, or at ceremonious meals. But the most exciting thing I came to learn is the Red Sea Bream Festival which is held in Minamichita, a Japanese town situated by the bay. For the festival, they parade a giant Red Sea Bream float with people inside playing instruments. But why are we seeing this fish everywhere again? Why have a festival just for a fish? The community holds these festivals to pray for a good livelihood which comes from hauling a lot of fish. This tradition might be referenced in the fisherman's shield because of the blurb about hoping for a great catch. The Red Sea Bream in Japan is thought to bring good fortune for a couple different reasons. One of which is its scales are a bright red color which is considered a lucky color. The other reason is the name Tai which is associated with Meta Tai meaning auspicious or congratulatory. People who want to use this good luck charm will use some form of the Red Sea Bream, whether it be an image or an object by placing it at the entrance of homes or shrines, or they just may eat one for a special meal. Taiyaki originally came in the form of imagawayaki, and you can often find both sold by street vendors. They're both sold with a variety of fillings such as these which are filled with red bean paste. Thanks to Breath of the Wild, the first one that I bought from the frozen section in an Asian market had an ice cream filling. A man named Sejiro Kobe struggled to sell his imagawayaki, and so he baked his into the shape of fish creating taiyaki. The actual fish is expensive, which is why it's eaten mostly on special occasions, but Sejiro wanted people to enjoy the Red Sea Bream, albeit in this new form, at a more affordable price. With all the different fillings they come in, it wouldn't be too crazy to have one with a British fish pie filling. With this understanding of Red Sea Bream bringing wealth to people, are there any examples of this in the game? One of the locals will tell you that if you spawn a school of porgies out at sea, you'll always find treasure chests nearby. And this intimate knowledge the villagers have about the porgies could be why they depict their image on all of their stuff. These fish don't just bring prosperity to the village as a source of food, but they also bring chests full of loot. These porgies are almost revered by the people here. The culture reflects it too, as this village is the only place where you can gamble in the whole game. <laughs> 